welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys another recipe which is a family recipe that i learned from both my mom and my dad it's panes de pollo which is in spanish chicken sandwiches but it's not your regular chicken sandwich it's really it has a lot of components but it's really good so i'm going to show you guys what the ingredients are we're still in panes and we got these big um loaves so like you can get these at the vallarta um, what next thing you'll need is eggs. So I have five eggs because that's how many people are in my family. And tomatoes for your sandwich. You'll also need for seasoning of your chicken, which we'll show you guys how to do that, is chicken flavor bouillon. So right here. You'll need mayonnaise to coat your bread. And you'll need some crushed garlic, which I cr crushed it previously to put in your chicken. And I'll show you guys how to do that. And instead of using lettuce, my family, we use watercress, which is in Spanish is perro. So that's how it looks like. But it's called watercress in English if you guys are looking for it. So let's get started with the cooking. So I got chicken with bone. So I, you can use chicken breast, like with without bone, but I, we use bone in. And I'm gonna fill it with water till it covers all the chicken. So let me do that real quick. All right, so we got the water in. So we're gonna put it to cook on our stove. And previously I made the sauce that I've used in my um, chicken alfredo recipe and other recipes. So make sure you cook that too in a separate pot and I'll leave the the ingredients and all you need for the recipe so we're gonna cook our chicken for like 20 minutes till it gets white and i'm gonna just top it off and i'll come back when it's ready so while we are waiting for the chicken i just want to say you can make this recipe for new year's that's what we're make. what i'm making it for for tonight to eat and this is off topic of the recipe but I want to show you guys my airpod case look I love how it looks because it like matches with my phone and I got this other matching case that will I for my phone so that's how it looks and then it has a little keychain thing where I can like um hang it on my keys or my backpack and then I have this like we got a labor maker label maker for Christmas and then I wrote you could see that let it focus can't really see it but it says ash tv so in case i lose it then i find it with that then it's me you know it's me <laughs> but i'll be back when the chicken is semi ready to put in the chicken flavor bouillon and the garlic Okay, so I just finished cooking all the chicken and our boiled eggs. So right now, I'm going to start prepping the sandwich. So what you're going to do is take one of your breads. And we're going to heat it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. So just cut it in the center. So we can open it easily like this. And put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So we have our bread nice and warm as you can see the steam. And I have my boiled egg here in cold water. So we'll let that bread cool down a little bit but have it warm. And I have my sauce here to pour the chicken on. So right now what I'm going to do is get my machine. This is what I got for Christmas and I have been using it. And I love it so I'm going to show you guys how I cut my tomatoes and I just crush press string so like that and there's my tomato 
I'm gonna take my boiled egg and just crack it. I like to roll this. The technique I use, and then I'm gonna just peel. So we take our bread and take our mayonnaise. I realize I have some left over a little bit, so instead of opening the new one, I'm going to just use a little bit that's left from the one that I haven't opened yet to put it on there. And you're just going to rub your bread with mayonnaise before you put anything in, of course. Here is just cutting the chicken separately and then pouring the sauce over. So I'm just cutting a little bit. It's a little bit hot still. That's why I took it out. Because I was going to burn myself. But always pre-cut up if you're going to put it in the sauce. To have it like covered with sauce before you serve. In my tomato. And just pour some of it there. Get your sauce. And just pour it on to your bread. Press on the side and then cut your boiled egg. So you just put it on top and inside your bread, like so. And put on your water crust. And then you can pour a little bit of more, a little bit of sauce to add flavor and color is your bun is the pollo fairly easy just takes what takes time is the cooking of the chicken but that is basically it and that is it for your bun is the pollo so it is super good and actually like pretty healthy because it has a lot of protein and everything but i hope you guys enjoyed and make some bun is the pollo for new year's eve today and eat some for today or tomorrow but i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like, share, and comment, and give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you next year. Or not. Peace. <laughs>